everybody. This is going to be a short video regarding the ELSR unit, electronic, uh, electronic lead screw reverse. Um, I've had some viewers that have asked me to uh, show it and demonstrate it, so uh, we will uh, run through it. It's, uh, I'm giving a kind of an overview of the lathe right now. Um, my shop's tight. I can't really get anything further back than here. So we'll just talk about it for a few minutes real quick here. You notice the yellow handle here. So basically the uh, emergency stop switch and the green green go button to turn the system on. I added this uh, paddle on here uh, after my buddy Chewy got hurt. Um, this uh, I can kick with my leg and shut the machine right down. So good safety feature I added on there. I'm really happy with that. The lathe has uh, the spindle control right here, forward and reverse. And when you actually, on my system, when you use the ELSR, this becomes disengaged. And this handle here is now your uh, forward and reverse lever. This lever is your half nut lever. This is your cross feed. And this is your uh, carriage going uh, left to right on this uh, handle. This knob here. There's uh, different detents there, and that selects the direction of, of both the cross sliding carriage, which direction it's going. Um, of course, your hand wheel to move the, the unit. Uh, this handle over here is uh, for disengaging the gear system, and we'll, we'll get down there and take a look at that. Um, and uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, and then down below here is the fine adjust for the ELSR feed system and we'll talk about that also. So this is just a close-up of the fine adjust system. So you can see the dog, the dog points here and here that operate the system and then this guy basically you can slide my hands out of the way but you can slide these back and forth. I think you can see it there in the shadows. And that would be your fine adjust, and then you lock it down. Pretty simple system, and you, it's much much quicker to uh, fine tune where your stop is occurring. Um, the lathe, uh, I just love the machine. It's a pleasure to use. Um, it's a beast. Um, I've never had to put it in back gear yet, uh, and uh, let's. Uh, Let's, uh, the only thing I was, uh, the last thing to mention, to change the electronics on this, there is a feed box in the back that I have to throw a switch. And once I throw the switch, it, it flip-flops the uh, unit. One of the things on an ELSR that uh, people that end up getting one of these lays and they find that they can't even turn the unit on, if this isn't set in the proper switch mode, uh, it'll just confuse the whole system. Um, and I want to do a shout out right here. Uh, f uh, I'm going to put it on the, uh, the, it's four ponds. He's been doing rebuilds on 10 double E's and there's a whole series of him taking this apart and putting it back together, uh, which uh, for me was very educational. Uh, I hope I never have to, but uh, he did a great job on it. He's doing a super job on rebuilding the, uh, the lathes. So um, let me uh, get set up, and we'll, we'll sh I'll show you a few things here. Okay, I'm going to stay in the overview position here, I think, which might be the best. Um, the last thing I had forgot to mention on the fine adjust for the feed mechanism, this is your... this. These units will kick the unit out of uh, direction. Stop the stop the unit. I'll show you that. But there is uh, the the dogs on the bar here that hit the rod to shut it off and on. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention is so my unit is called a motor generator. So it has an AC motor down in here, and on top of the AC motor is a DC. They call it an exciter. And so this whole system runs on DC. AC 
lights up the DC, turns the, turns the DC, spins it, and that's what powers the unit. It's all DC controlled. So uh, let me uh, throw in the uh, phase converter and we'll uh, talk about it. So just to uh, review when you want to thread on this unit, and I actually had it set up for threading, which is, I don't have to go through everything here, but there's a handle here, which you select from belt drive to threads. This is your feed control for left hand or right hand threads, which you make your selection. Down below here, again, you switch another knob from, uh, what does it say? It's from uh, threads, feeds to thread. So you, 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 these two become engaged for your threading. This unit's called a square dial. There's a round dial and a square dial. The round dials are older units. I think they're pre-50, 1950. This is a 1953. Um, you set your feeds here on this, uh, this, this uh, chart right here, and there's a little slide inside there, you see. So once you have all those set up, uh, you're ready to uh, go ahead and start threading. Okay, as you can hear, the unit's uh, noisy. So, right now, this is controlling the spindle. So, if I lift it up, it's forward. Down is reverse. Nice and quick. And the Right now the half nut is not engaged. So it's spinning, but the half nut is not engaged. So if you come around and engage the half nut, got it engaged, and if we go forward, the system's running. stop set there. I don't know how far away I was from the stop. As you can see the unit stopped on its own. I can't I can't lift this and go forward anymore. I can go reverse. Come on Charlie. <laughs> I love it when it happens on camera. Okay, well that was a little embarrassing happening on camera, but actually I think it was a good error, and I'll explain why. What I early on in the video I mentioned the ELSR switching. If you have it wrong, it can create problems. Well, the other day when I did the repair on this chuck and I threaded, I didn't use the stops on the ELSR, and so when I turned everything on there's a pointer on one side and there's a set screw on the other and in my rush I, I guess I assumed it was a set screw so I actually had the ELSR set in left hand and what that changed is just the operation of this control so when earlier in this video it was in left hand and the operation was the wrong way hence it was locking on the stops so got that cleaned up so we'll fire back up and I'll, I'll show you half nuts engaged <clears throat> and it's relatively very very simple <laughs> well you don't make a mistake huh but basically right now carriage is going that way and automatically will stop. It just touched the, the stop right there. We go the other way, carriage is feeding towards the chuck. The uh, half nut's locked, it just stopped. I 
don't know if you can see the DRO. You can see the DRO, it shows on the Z uh, two tenths. So, reversing back, you can walk away from it, and I know it's going to stop. There it stopped. Make your, you make your adjustments, feed back in. It shows two tenths on the DRO. So it'll always return to the same position. I'm going to shut off. It'll always return to the same stop points. You can see within tenths. As long as the RPM doesn't get changed. If you, if you, during your threading, if you change your RPM, let's say I wanted to thread faster and I speed up the spindle, as the carriage is coming towards the the stops, the momentum is more and it'll change the stop point on how it acts with the switch. So it's just something, you, you know, once you're threading it, it, uh, it works fine. Using the LSR, since you leave the uh, half nut engaged, anytime you need to get out you can basically undo the half nut and then just go back into the half nut where you were and you're back at the same position. The other feature that's on this lathe, and uh, I'm going to move you in a little closer, is the uh, hand wheel here for the cross slide. I don't know if I have the stop engaged or not. So I, I took the stop out. But it's right here on the side, there's a knob. You tighten that knob, and when you come back, it'll always stop at the same place either direction forward or reverse so if you're threading and you gotta pull out you can pull out make your adjustments and then go right back into the same spot each time it'll it, it, it takes all the stress out of uh, threading because when you get there you can just pull back you don't have to even pay attention because you know it's going to go back to the same spot every time it's really, really nice. Sorry, my alarm's going off on my phone. It's uh, time to uh, go to the ARW live discussion. To change that, you just unloosen the, uh, the screw on the side, and it goes back to normal operation. So that's a, uh, a quick overview of the uh, Monarch 10 E and the ELSR threading. On the unit, um, it it's really really a nice, very nice feature that it has. All right, thanks for uh, tuning into the channel. I hope you enjoy. Uh, comments and questions are always welcome, uh, and uh, hit the bell and uh, subscribe if you're uh, new to the channel. Thanks a lot.